look at me, I'm looking like a massive big tangerine. <laughs> well, first of all, in this video, because I don't, first of all, in this video, I want to compare flat wounds, tape wounds, and round wounds. I'm gonna put them all on the same base and we're gonna get a vibe for what it, what, what it sounds like and the differences it makes to the way we play. Because I'm really interested actually and I've never actually done it myself. I've never tried the three different types of strings out all on one bass. I thought it'd be fun. I thought it'd be fun for you guys. And also I'm going to show you this wicked way of restringing your bass. It's just this little tiny hack that you're going to be able to use. But before we get into that, can I just, can I just have a bit of a rant? I've just, today... I'm just having one of those days, you know, one of those days, it's one of those days. And I get it, I get we all have them. It's not real problems, right? You know, I've got running water in the tap, I'm clothed, I've got like a family that I'm in love with, um, you know, everything's great. I'm just, you know, it's just one of them days. The kids are up at 4.30 in the morning, and then that, you know, puts me and Lisa, my wife, in a little bit of a grumpy mood. I don't know why you big Bart, go to your room. I'm out of here. I got into the studio this morning and the website, the entire, and then this a distributor that I use over in the, and then I uploaded a YouTube video for last week and noticed that there was just one of those days. With that in mind, do you know when you've got one of those days, when you're just having a crappy day and you're not feeling very motivated, right? Well, this isn't from me. I'm going to read something that I heard the other day and I just thought, ah, that just makes so much sense. Okay, so let me grab, let, let me just get it for you. Actually, scrap that. I'm not gonna read it. I'm gonna let you see the, uh, the, the video that I saw. It's only like, you know, 30 seconds long, but I think like we all have them crap days and we all look at other people that are doing really, really great and we wonder why them and not us, right? I watched this video and it was just, and it was what I needed today as well. The day that everything's going crap, the day that I just wanna be at home and just crawl underneath a duvet and not do anything. I needed this video and maybe you need it today. So I'm just gonna let you check it out and then you can, you can take it or you can leave it. And I should also say that the language is a little bit spicy on this, so if there's any kids in the room, maybe put your hands over their ears. They've all figured out one thing. They know how to get themselves up and moving when they don't feel like it and it always comes down to discipline so don't ask the question how do I stay motivated because no one stays motivated ask the question how do I develop the discipline to do the things that I know I need to do when I don't feel like doing them that is the question okay because it's really easy for anybody to come to work on the days they feel like killing it and killing it but what happens on the days that you don't feel like killing it? What happens on the days you don't feel like going to the gym? What happens on the days that you don't feel like getting out of bed? Because those are the f***ing days that are going to define where you end up in your life. Took it to the heart and love that kind of stuff. First of all, I want to show you this really cool hack uh, about changing your strings because there's so many people messing up their, their bases by changing the strings well, not changing the strings wrongly, but missing out this crucial step, and it is really, really important, because if you don't do it, then, well, well, we'll get into it. All you need to change your strings, right, is some snips like that, and on this bass, let me change the, let me change the G string. Such a child. Mellow. Super, which ones are which? So here's the key thing guys to understand is that round wound strings have got an inner core. There actually might be a... So round wound strings have an inner core. But the, there's an inner core and then the outer core winds, winds around it, round wound, okay? The key thing is that many people, when they put the strings on, they'll put it through and they'll, they'll snip it off They'll put it down in the machine head and tighten it up. If you do that without using this key step that I'm going to tell you, the inner core of the string 
can slip okay if it's not crimped against against the outer core and that's when you can get that dead sound so you play all your your strings and people will say oh you know i put the strings on and then there was a dead one in the set a lot of the time you could be creating that dead string yourself here's the key thing guys bend the string nip it like that can you see that yeah nip it like that and then when you cut it you want to cut it just in front of where you've bent it can you see that it's got a tiny little bend in it that keeps the inner core from slipping and that will help you out so much when it comes to having dead strings because a lot of them them dead strings people create themselves then the rest is kind of self-explanatory right stick it through wind it around and then you you crank it up and that's it string changing hack of the week the year the decade century so the way i'm going to structure this video guys is is that i'm going to play the the basses first of all with flats on then with rounds on then with tapes on and i'm going to discuss you know what i think about the about the strings themselves and then i'm going to do a direct comparison where i will be playing the same riff and then swapping between the different basses okay so you'll be able to hear them exactly you know kind of a bead against each other with rounds for me personally i probably lean towards using rounds more than more than anything because i really kind of like that raspy sound you can get I love that raspy sound you can get and I love the vibe as well with the turn off as well you can get that real Honestly guys, this is the first time I've ever played any uh, tape wound strings and I'm absolutely blown away. Like they're not what I expected at all. You can get that rasp out of them. They've got like a really nice flat wound vibe about them, but the tension is just like whoa. It's like if you tune down a guitar, like like a minor third or something, or maybe even more, maybe a major third. The, the tone of them. Is, I mean, not, not the tone, the, the... I need to investigate these more. If you've not tried any tape wound strings, guys, I recommend go get yourself a set because there's definitely some fun to be had here. So flat wounds for me guys, like out of the out of the three different strings that I've tried, probably the flat wounds are my least favourite. I'm not sure man. I don't know. There's something I feel less at home on these. I think that's what it is. I feel less at home on the flat wounds than the round wounds. And out of the flat wounds and the tape wounds, 
I actually prefer, I think, I don't know why I say I think, it's like I don't know what my own mind's thinking. I think I prefer the tape rounds. I'd have to play them for a little while longer, I think. I'd love to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments what you think, your own experiences about these types of strings, and uh, what you think while I'm playing this, you know, and you're listening, you know, through your laptop speakers or your, your phone speakers or whatever you're listening to this on, what do you prefer the best when you're listening? I'd be really, really interested to, uh, to know that. If somebody, had to, if somebody put a gun to my head and said, which ones would you go with? If you had to, you know, if you had to choose one set, it'd be the round rounds for me. Every time it'd be the round rounds. Cause I just feel at home on them and it just feels like I can get my sound from them. Um, yeah, it feels like I can get my sound from them a little bit easier than, maybe it's just cause I'm not used to the other strings as much, but yeah, it just feels like home. So, so for me, I really do love rounds. I like the other strings as well, but I've just got, I just feel at home with rounds. Hopefully you enjoyed this video guys. As always, leave a comment below. Just give me some good vibes. Let me know what you're up to today. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel yet, make sure you do so. If you haven't checked out scottsbasslessons.com yet, which is what I do, the ultimate online bass school with the a crazy faculty, live stream seminars every week, a step-by-step -step course library full of amazing courses from an amazing faculty and from me as well. Uh, go check it out at scottsbasslessons.com. Uh, you can grab a 14-day free trial. And I should say as well, I know I keep ducking under these, but look, there's actually a little bit of room under there. I don't know why I duck under them. There we go. Anyway, guys, take it easy. And as always, I'll see you in the shed. Boom. Whoa, 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 where are you going? If you haven't subscribed to the Scots Bass Lessons channel yet here on YouTube, click the link, subscribe. I release two videos like this every single week. You can also check out our other videos over there. And if you've not checked out scotsbasslessons.com membership, check it out. You can grab your 14-day free trial over there.